Here's what I've come up with on my first iteration of 3D printing. So I can start assembling this by placing these pieces together and then putting the blast gate in between like this. And then I need to attach the servo motor on here like this. So we've got the servo attached, but as I'm looking at this, we need a spot for the electronics. My initial thought is maybe I could attach them to the servo on this side and everything would be all on one side. But the problem with that is that I'm a little bit concerned about electromagnetic interference because this is a Wi-Fi chip. I don't want the servo turning on and off to interfere with those Wi-Fi signals. So separating those two pieces out is probably better. Here's what I came up with for the enclosure for the controller. I 3D printed a little case here that will fit one of these little ESP8266 modules. In order to connect the servo to one of these control boards, I need to solder on a header first, and I also need to solder on some wires for the push button that will manually control the blast gate. Once I get all four of these control boards assembled, I'll put them on the blast gates.